This right here is quite possibly my favorite thing. My favorite thing about NBA 2K23, my team that is, is the trophy cases. Now this is something new 2K has added to this year of my team and basically we have a trophy case for every single team. And for the trophy case, you want to collect all of these little event cards. There's 15 for each team and once you complete a whole team, you get a pink diamond player. And there are some insane ones being like Jordan Poole, also Sabonis, Russell Westbrook, Derek Rose and so many more. So yeah, 2K definitely haven't held off. They've released heat to start the year, but also after every division of trophy cases that you collect, you end up getting a Galaxy Opal. So for the Atlantic, you get Patrick Ewing, you have Jimmy Butler for the Central, Gilbert Arenas for the Southeast, Clyde Drexler for the Northwest, Anthony Davis for the Pacific, and Chris Paul for the Southwest. And then when you get all of those Galaxy Opals, you end up getting a Dark Matter. For the Eastern Conference, it's Julius Irving. Then for the Western Conference, it's Tim Duncan. And then when you get both of those cards you get Larry Bird. So 2K have definitely put a lot of effort into this and I feel like this is going to be a long grind but it seems so worth it. And uh, what I'll be doing in this video is teaching you guys the easiest way to be able to get these trophy case cards. Because obviously we're in the first week of 2K and you might think it's quite hard to get these players, which yes it does take a little bit of grinding, but so many people are getting them right now because it's actually not the hardest thing in the world. So yeah, if you guys enjoy this video and enjoy these tips, be sure to smash that like button. Let's see if we can just get 1,000 likes. Anyway, the first thing I highly recommend is you have to come over to the token market. Even if you hardly play my team, please just buy all of these right now because they only cost one token left and it's the final day you can buy all of these. And for one token, you can actually get like, what, 10 of the things you need for one of these cards. So we're gonna go through and buy every single one. Basically what these are, are exchange things that you can put into the exchange and then select which team you want this sort of reward for. So there we go with the historic pennant exchange. And you can only buy one of these for each thing. So I wish you could buy like 15. It would make it so much easier, but only one. So really right now, we only want to focus on one of the collections. But trust me, for only one token left, you have to do this. Like even if you're thinking of saving your tokens, don't. Make sure you buy this. As I don't know how often they're actually going to release these trophy cases into the token market. But right now, it is an absolute no-brainer to actually buy all of these in the token market because it's just so cheap. And if you were to actually grind for every single one of these it's quite difficult so i wouldn't really recommend that i'd recommend to just do what we're doing as this is what really made it possible for people to be able to do it week one because trust me when i first saw this challenge come out i thought it was impossible but then as soon as i saw the token market got updated with them i was like okay we can actually do it and that's why i want to release this video so anyway now we've bought absolutely every single one in the token market it only costed us nine tokens and now unfortunately it's all sold out but it means now we have to pick a player that i want to focus on and there is like alan iverson which is insane like a couple more of these players look really, really good. I was either deciding between Derek Rose, Russell Westbrook, and Sabonis, but I've decided I'm focusing on Derek Rose. Real quick though, let me know in the comments what trophy case you're focusing on. As yeah, I want to know. <laughs> but now we just want to come over to the exchange and you'll see there's so many things, but there's so many of these trophy case exchange packs. And basically you need to make sure you do which conference that you need. So for me, obviously the Bulls are in the East, so we have to make sure we do the Eastern Conference ones. I've also already got the current pennant so we don't want to do that so we need the historic pennant so that means we're going to put in our historic pennant and let's put it in the exchange and obviously we need this because then once you do you get this option pack oh it actually goes into our unopened packs i didn't realize that but now we're going to elite we're literally going to do every single one we're going to do every single one and this make sure you do it for the east as we get that one really just make sure it correlates with what team you're doing it on because now we're getting the elite franchise accolade pack the elite franchise moment pack i can't believe that they gave this out in the token market. Finally, the token market's good. As I said, I didn't need the current pennant, so we're not gonna do that one, but let's go to the historic jersey east. Thank you very much. The legendary moment exchange. And this is one that you actually don't get from the token market, but I'll show you how we got it. The current jersey exchange. There's so many exchanges, but I'm not really complaining, to be honest. Historic team photo. It seriously seems like we're gonna do this in this video because we are just collecting so many of them as there's the rare franchise accolade pack, rare franchise moment option pack we will take that for the east and then the final
final one is this current team photo. So now we've put every single one that we have already into the exchange, which isn't too bad at all because it really wasn't too hard at all either. So now we just have to come over to our unopened packs and open up every single one of these and make sure to pick the Bulls. So it is an option pack. It's so easy. All you got to do is just obviously pick what one you want. So for me, we're doing the Bulls. So making sure we're picking the third one every single time, which is the Bulls, we'll take it. But yeah, please just make sure you focus on one player rather than so many or else it's going to be so annoying for you because I want these players day one and I think that's most of us want that too so that's why we're going to do it and we're going to pick the bulls every single time there's another one another one and another one guess what it's another one another one DJ Khaled with them straps I got another one <laughs> they ain't believe in us juice world did you know it, you know it let's get another one and this right here is the final one for now so now when we look at our trophy case we've already got 12 out of 15, which is absolutely crazy. The way I was able to get the ones that I didn't get in the token market was from some of these random packs of like historic trophy case and so on, as I actually got lucky and got some of the Bulls ones from that. But also we have these trophy case challenges where if you score 250 points in multiplayer games, you get the legendary franchise moment exchange, which is great because that's what we needed. Then also if you win 10 single player games in a row, you get the elite franchise moment exchange. So now obviously there's just three more that we need. And these are the three hardest to get. The first one, which is just this one down here, all you need to do is just make sure you complete domination for the team that you want to do. So for me, we wanted to do the Bulls and that's why we completed it. And that's where we got the Bulls trophy case pack. So now if we come over and open it up, it's a six card. Okay, well, no, that's not what we wanted. It's a six card pack. Let's open it up this time. And this time it works and it's this easy to get this one. So it's actually not too bad. It just means you have to stick through and play a full game. But there we go with that trophy. And now it's looking a bit better because we've got 13 out of 15. Now the next two are kind of annoying because for this one right here, you need to collect every single player for that correlating team in the 23 series one set. So I've currently got two of the players and it's kind of annoying because the way you get these players this year is through the token market. So we need to come across and we need to spend all our tokens on these packs right here. And it is going to be quite expensive. It's two tokens per pack for the bench, but then we have to realize that we have to do the starters where it's 15 tokens per pack. But I think we actually have enough to do it. So obviously we need every single one of these players. What for like the rest of these players, it's only going to cost, I think like 14 tokens, which isn't too bad. And then five times 15. Now that I do the maths, I actually don't think I'll have enough, but we will be super close, which is all I want to say. So Patrick Williams, get in my basket. We'll pick you up. Go run, go run. Big boy, Tony. My man's Derek. Marco. And then finally, Mr. Dalen Terry. So now I've collected 10 out of 15. We just need the five more starters. And this is where unfortunately it is quite expensive because each one of these starter packs costs 15 tokens each, which is quite expensive for this team, but it's not the most expensive team because some of the teams cost like, what, 30 tokens per pack. The annoying thing is too, is I'm not really gonna use any of these players. Like if I did the bucks, it would be somewhat worth it because I'd actually use Giannis, even though I have Giannis on my team, but you know what I'm saying? We now only have 10 tokens remaining, so we won't be able to get every single one right now. I will make sure we do it in this episode. And the final player I'm gonna pick up is Lonzo Ball, let's get it. So anyway, as for right now, let's just pretend and I've completed this one. As literally all I need is just 20 more tokens and then it's done. So then if we pretend that's done, we'll have 14 out of 15 of the trophies. But now this one right here, the centerpiece. It really is the centerpiece because it's by far the hardest one to get, but there are a couple of ways you can get it. The first way you can get it is through My Team Unlimited and you do need so many points. You can see the rewards right here. You do get all these rewards before you end up getting it, which is nice, but it's at 6,000 points, which is definitely a lot. Then you get that exchange that then you can get it. Another way you can get it is by getting 250 wins in Triple Threat Offline. If you love Triple Threat Offline, then go for it. I certainly won't be doing it this way. And then I think another way you can get it is by playing Clutch Time Offline and getting 100 wins, which is still quite a lot. But probably the way I'd recommend doing it is by doing the Season Agenda, where you have to win 100 Triple Threat Online games, which trust me, definitely isn't easy. But you have to remember playing 100 games of Triple Threat is probably worth it to get one of these insane pink diamonds of week one of my team. So to be honest, I'm either going to do it in Triple Threat Online or Unlimited, but right now I want to play a game of Triple Threat Online and see how we go. You can see the team is quite nice. Let's get to the game. My opponent's team ain't amazing, but I'm just much prefer this court this year. It looks so much better. So I'm very happy with that. And that's just a terrible shot straight away. Give me that rebound and I like it. What about we go down with Steph? Steph behind the back. That's just a terrible shot. Don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. You know that we take those terrible shots, but that should have been a steal. He's going to get this point 
point because of that right there. I definitely am not the best at the game this year. I'm trying to get better with my releases and so on, but it's still difficult at the moment. Definitely just what wins me games is just by getting stops and hoping my opponent misses shots. Like there's no way that one's dropping. It actually wasn't the worst release, but you can see right here, we're trying to get this score with our boy, Steph Curry. So back out to Chris Mullen. Let's give it back out to Steph. Let's give it back to Rudy Gobert. You can see he's off balling. It's an easy two. Let's go. Let's run it up. Run it up. Um, Stephanie, Stephanie in your hands. Let's pull that three and let's green it. I feel like all I have to do is just put it in Rudy's hands and then just run past Shaq. Like literally it feels that easy and just play down low, play the low post game easy. I didn't even expect that to happen. Then we get the steal straight after. Perfect. Now Chris Mullen, wide open three, hit it for me. It's sort of annoying the fact that I'd say this is the easiest way to actually get these players, but it definitely is just because you don't have to play as many games and you don't have to be as skilled if you know what I'm saying. I seriously am just imagining when I'm getting good at releases in this game, how easy it's going to be. Like, it'll just be so nice. All I got to say is Rudy is just so good. Like, he's literally so good. We've got, we've got this now. We've got this. There we go. With our man's Chris Mullen. All we need is just two more points and then this game is over. So Rudy, are you the one to do it? No, nah, Chris Mullen is. Chris Mullen hits that three to end it off. All I have to do is win 99 more of those. <laughs> but hey, I'd say that's worth it for a free pink diamond. As we now get to drop the ball. And this is another thing. Just think about all the rewards you can actually get as well while doing this. So you can get a lot of tokens. You can get a lot of other stuff. I'm hoping for the tokens on this one and we don't get it. We get 200 MT. But you got to remember, you don't even have to spend contracts now to play the game. So it makes it so much more worth it. So yeah, just 99 more of those games to go. I know it seems tough, but trust me, it would be worth it. And I'm definitely going to grind it out and make sure to get a gameplay on this Derrick Rose. So be sure to smash that like button as I very much appreciate you guys watching and I'm hyped to drop that gameplay. So yeah, hopefully this helped. Really, other than the token market, the only ones you need to focus on is the centerpiece, domination, some season genders, and finally collecting the whole team of the correlating team. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's see if we can get those 1,000 likes. I appreciate you all so much for watching and be sure to smash that like button. Make sure to subscribe and you follow me on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. And that's pretty much it. I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.